Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am your brother Nuh. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Thank you for joining me for another Islam 101 class. Our praises and thanks are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for blessing us to be able to come together and get some insight. Just learn a few things that could help us tremendously in our lives, in the lives of our family and friends if we share this information. So today's class is going to be about gratitude, just being grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I've been getting a lot of questions that surrounded around this topic. So alhamdulillah, this is this is something that uh, it can never get old. I might have even covered this before in the past. Alhamdulillah. However, this is a good reminder. And as our uh, Rabb, uh, as our uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that the reminder benefits the believer. So we can never have enough of these reminders. I just pray the last one Ta'ala blesses us to uh, benefit from this. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. So we start with this, this uh, beautiful ayat from the Quran, Surah 16, Ayat 53, when the last one Ta'ala says, he says, and whatever you have a favor, it is from Allah. Then when adversity touches you to him, you cry for help. So in this beautiful ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is, is saying uh, ni'mah. This is uh, the Arabic word for favor. Whatever ni'mah that you have from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it, it is from Allah. So if you could imagine anything good, <laughs> anything good that you have, even the things that you that we can't conceptualize, that are good. All of these things come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything. Sometimes in this life we we get caught up on the the scene. And we know we as Muslims we must believe in the seen and the unseen. I think that is sometimes we lose we lose grip on that. That we need to focus on the the, the seen and the unseen. Now the unseen is all of the things that are going on behind the fact. We have food to eat, and we buy that food from the grocery store, and we get that money for the food from other places, but we don't know that all of these things are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The money that we get to buy the food is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The food itself is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if we are all encompassing of these things, and we are very grateful people. Most people are very, very grateful. However, we must make sure we channel it in the right way. So if we are more cognizant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if we work on increasing our taqwa, our, Allah, our God consciousness, then we can start to uh, be in line with really appreciating, with really being grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the things that he has given us. When we go to the grocery store or before we eat, all of these things, before we eat, we're encouraged to say Bismillah and at the end of the meal, Alhamdulillah. That's for basically everything that we do, though, not just when we eat. When we wake up, uh, uh, before we go to sleep, everything. So all of this is to just make it so we are more cognizant of Allah and that we are more grateful to him. So, Allah says in the Quran, um, whatever ni'mah, whatever favor is from Allah. So, let's just take a second and, and think about just the blessing of the eye. The blessing of the eye. In Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in the Quran, um, in Surah Al-Muq, let's see. Okay. Allah 
قل هو الذي انشاكم وجعل لكم السمع والابصار والافئده قليلا ما تشكرون and so a lot of people it's hard to read this ayah without it hitting your heart or you being choked up this ayah all actually says say it is he who has produced you and made for you hearing and vision and hearts little are you grateful subhanallah 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 may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be amongst the ones who are grateful and i was talking uh the other day about this just asking when was the last time we we thanked Allah for our hearing and our vision when was the last time we thanked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for our hearing and our vision think about it everybody including myself it just is it's something you know and that's one of the miracles of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the miracle of sight a lot of people don't know that just you being able to see is a miracle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is just this is just one of the many things that we have that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with is just our our eyes our, our vision and him calling us out <laughs> calling us out that we are not grateful for these things so we want to take these reminders and if if nothing else just on a on a daily basis just say to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we are grateful that he has blessed us with vision with hearing and with the heart and with the heart beating in our chest and also a heart to be able to decipher and able to uh, connect to him. So just that blessing, just the blessing of the eye and how powerful and then how it plays a pivotal role in everything that we do in life. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, bless us and, and, and increase us and, and bless the people who may be struggling with, with their vision and things of that nature. So also we learn about other things, about how when we eat something, it doesn't have to be activated by anything. Like when we eat something, we don't have to push a button for it to digest. It starts digesting on its own. All the parts that are inside of us know exactly what to do in order to process the food. It goes through the first digestion, which is our mouth, and then we swallow it and then it goes down and it, it it starts hitting our intestines. All of these things are going. Not to mention it's it's mobile, it's portable. We don't have to sit down and, and rest while these things are digesting. We can carry on our everyday life while this is happening. As we are speaking, <laughs> we just we just I'm sure have eaten not too long ago. And our, our bodies are, are digesting the food while we're sitting back enjoying our lives. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made this extremely easy for us. The foods are separated from the, the hard food to the liquid. This is separated and it, and it comes out in two different ways. This is, this is a blessing from Allah. Let's just take some time and think about this. Let's take some time and, and, and thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for these many blessings that he has given us, that he's blessed us to have this digestive system that just works automatically. We don't have to do anything for it. And thank Allah for this. A heart that pumps, uh, the sun that, that gives us vitamins that, that shines bright every single day. Every single day we wake up, the sun is there. We don't. We don't have to do anything in order to get sun or anything like that. Our heart is beating all day, even when we're we, even when we're asleep. Our heart is beating, continuously beating, and we don't have to activate it. We don't have to do anything like that. These are all blessings of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So. One of the things 
that is beautiful about being thankful. There's this hadith about there are going to be people who are ushered into paradise. And so the people around naturally are going to be like, who are these people? Who are these people? They're given a, 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 a special uh, door to go into. And then it will be communicated to them that these were the people who are always thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No matter what, no matter good, no matter bad, whatever was going forward, they were thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And now they are given a special place and they are ushered into paradise. Look at the simplicity of this. Look at the simplicity of this. If we're just going through trials and tribulations and the things that we're going through, if we just say Alhamdulillah, we just say Alhamdulillah, that's simple. I know it's hard. Everybody, you know, has trials and tribulations in their lives. This is not an easy thing to do. I'm not, I'm not saying that this is easy. However, if we just take a second and thank Allah for the good things that are going on, whether we see him or whether we don't, just thank Allah that it's not worse than what it is. And we could start this behavior. We can start this path that leads to just having a more grateful life. And this is this is this is important and this is powerful. So this is very simple hadith, but alhamdulillah, it's 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 beautiful. Um, the people who will be ushered into into paradise, who the only thing that they did was was just continuously thanked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in every situation that they were in. And not to mention that, how we have water to drink. <laughs> you know, if you don't drink water or drink anything for a number of days, you will pass away. If you don't eat for a number of days, you will pass away. And look at us, how we reach these ages. We have been fed our whole lives. We have been fed our whole lives. Even when we couldn't feed ourselves, it was a point that we existed that we could not feed ourselves. We were incapable of walking. We were incapable of talking. We were incapable of even holding our head up. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provided a, a people to take care of us, people to feed us good food, people to dress us, people to to wash us up when we when we couldn't even wash ourselves up. This is all orchestrated by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ever since we were young. And not to mention, this gives us hope that if Allah will take care of us when we're young, then he will take care of us now. Sometimes we get so shaken and we think to ourselves, you know, when will the help of Allah come? And I'm going through so many trials and tribulations and we get scared. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always had you. He was always taking care of you. He always had this road paved for you to be successful. So we look at these things and we think to ourselves, man, I'm grateful to have such a such a gracious Lord. And we must think about these things every single day, even if we are not feeling good. And a lot of us are sick. We think to ourselves, I could be even sicker. Thank, thank you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for, for not uh, having me even more sick. So... We thank Allah for blessing us with a, a beautiful house, with a car to drive, all of these things. Like I said in the, in the, in the, in, at the beginning, any favor is from Allah. Any favor, any favor is from Allah. Not to mention, psychologists say that a person who is independently wealthy naturally becomes oppressive. So a wealthy person who's humble is extremely is extremely rare. A person who is independently wealthy naturally becomes oppressive. A wealthy person who's humble is extremely rare. So this is if you can think about this mindset, the people who become independently wealthy and after a certain time they feel like they are at a higher level than everybody else. So they start treating everybody else like they're at a lower level. This is actually oppressive 
behavior. This is oppressive behavior. And we as Muslims know this is ungrateful behavior because we know that, you know, wealth comes from Allah. But like the study shows, the people who are independently wealthy, the people who may have started their own business, went against all odds, created something with their hands, started from the ground up, as the society says. And they feel like because I have done these things, then I am, I am allowed to act in this way. I'm allowed to have people up under me. I'm allowed to talk to people like this because I'm rich. So sometimes we we ask we we say to ourselves, and something something what you know keeps some people from being grateful is the fact that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala hasn't given them wealth. It's a lot of people, most people, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has not given them wealth, and so we're like, wow, you know, if if Allah really loved me, if if he cared about me, he would bless me with a bunch of money. This this is not true. This is not true. This is not true. You see what I'm saying? Because you getting money could be the reason why you paved the road for yourself to the hellfire. You getting money may be a reason why you are not humble. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he knows his creations. So... It may be a blessing that you haven't been blessed with a lot of money. And we need to be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even if we don't have the money that we want. That we want. Because we see how messed up it can make a person if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives that person money. Not to mention Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives some people money to punish the people. It can be a punishment to, to, to get the money. So this is something that should help us in our gratitude, even if we don't have the funds that we want to still be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he could be saving you from something very, very tumultuous. So, like I said before, one of the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may be saving you from is arrogance. If you can imagine... This little bitty creature, this little bitty creature, which is the human being, who is like a speck. <laughs> if you zoomed out from just uh, an aerial view of, if you were just high, we would seem like a speck. But even zoom out even, even more and get even higher, even zoom out even more from space. Even It, it is some, some planets that make the earth look like a pebble planets that make the earth look like a little bitty pebble so just imagine how little and insignificant we are as human beings we don't control anything we're totally dependent on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for everything and I was reminded of this when I went on a long road trip across the country recently and I was driving my vehicle and I was thinking to myself wow if something, you know, something goes, you know, haywire on this vehicle, if this breaks or something happens, I'm going to be on the side of this road. Like the only thing I have is my faith in the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that nothing goes wrong because Allah is in control of everything. It's only by his will that nothing goes wrong. And so we as human beings, we walk around with that every single day. Allah is in full control of our bodies, of all of our faculties or anything like that. So if something goes out of whack, Allah is in control of that. So we have to be extremely grateful that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is blessing us to just, to just walk around. We can't walk around like we own anything, like we're running anything. We're not running anything. <laughs> we're totally dependent on Allah for everything. So we must use this to fuel our lives of being humble. And being grateful to Allah for everything. We cannot be these little uh, creations that walk around arrogant. Arrogance is one of the things that will destroy our spirituality. So we must work not to be arrogant, to be humble. So one of the things that, that 
uh, like I was saying before, we question is, you know, uh, how does our heart beat? How does our brain work? How does our uh, nervous system work? Osmanatala has the answers to all of these things. Even when we go to the to the hospital after the surgeries, after everything, the doctor comes and he talks to the families and they say, you know what? We did all that we could. It's in God's hands now. Even they have to admit that they can only go so far. Allah takes care of everything else. So we must be cognizant of this and always be thankful to Allah for the things that he's given us. God is, is great. Allahu Akbar. Uh, we reflect on the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he nurtures us. He is... Um, he keeps us in good health. He gives us spouses. He gives us rain. He gives us food. And at the end of the day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the, is the greatest. And some people, they take all of these things and they say, there is no God. <laughs> How is this? How is this even possible? Did we create ourselves? Were we capable of creating ourselves? How can a person, how can something create themselves? It's, <laughs> you know, it doesn't make any sense. Or, or, or the Big Bang Theory, you know, if you just heard a bang downstairs, you wouldn't go downstairs and say, hey, you know, it was just a bang. They just, <laughs> it was just these pots. I guess they got bored and banged themselves. No, it's something that had to make the bang. And it's something that had to exist outside of what was going on to make it happen. Like the, like we have to live outside of the dominoes in order to push the domino for it to start. A domino cannot start itself. A domino effect. So not going too much into that. However, we know that we were created. We did not create ourselves. Um, and we refute uh, the, 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 the people who say that there is no God. We know that God there is a God, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, is the God of everything, and he is the greatest. And we show that in our actions and in our gratitude. If we're not grateful, we we put ourselves in the category of people who 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 feel like they created themselves and all of this ridiculousness. We, do, we, we know that that stuff is not true, so our behavior should reflect that. Alhamdulillah. So, I will end on this just brief uh, reminder that we need to be of ones who are grateful to our Lord. And we must remind ourselves of this. If we're going through trials and tribulations, if our, if our friends are going through trials and tribulations, we must know how to counsel them and tell them everything is going to be all right. Trust in the law. It could always be worse. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala woke you up this morning. You are still breathing. You still can walk. You still have your vision. We, we, we need to know how to counsel ourselves and other people so we could keep keep ourselves and, 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 and the people around us uh, uplifted in the, in the correct way. So I thank you for joining me on this Islam 101 class. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, blesses us with tawfiq. In order to be able to do this on a more regular basis, I'm definitely going to be working in order to do that. However, I thank you and I admire you and I'm grateful for you attending this, this class. And I, I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses us to be together again and to be together more. Feel free to leave a comment. Feel free to share this video. Feel free to just keep, stay connected to us uh, at Masjid al-Sharif or whatever platform that you are looking at this on. Like this video, share this video, donate to the mosque. And I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses us all to be amongst the few that are grateful to him. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.